Cutting someone off is never the same and at times can be a challenge. The whole point in cutting someone off is to be able to step on their toes without scuffing their shine. Here are some general rules to follow and some general rules to never do. First off, just do it. Be firm and polite. If possible, get the guest off to the side. Get back up, get your manager involved or another coworker. The one backing you up should just be aware of the situation in case they are needed. Managers and owners should always back the server and never override the server's decision. If a manager or owner overrides the server's decision, the guests will never see the bartender or the server as someone who has the authority to deny alcohol service. Never use the term cut off. We're going to slow up for a while. Maybe a little later you can have another drink. They aren't going to get one, they just think they are. Now's a good time to get them to eat. Once they eat, they'll get tired and may call it a night. Never tell them that they're going to take their drink. Just pull the drink and replace it with a non-alcoholic beverage. At times in a group, one will stay more sober than the rest as one guest will go too far. Get the sober guest to help. Bring it to their attention. At times, they will now do the cutting off for you. Two slices of bread. That sounds delicious. Um, that's, yeah. And you guys, I, I really got to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to be right back, okay? okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. You're going to take a drink with you? All right, later. Bro. Oh, we're going to leave that right there. Right there. Yeah. You might want to leave some breadcrumbs so you can find your way back. <laughs> hey, who is that guy? <laughs> hey, guys, how are we doing here tonight? We're doing it. Not bad. Good, good. Can I talk to you one oh, please? Yeah. Hold on. If you won't finish that, I will. My That's, car's okay, it's, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, everything's fine, man. Hey, your your buddy, is he okay? I think he's doing good. I think he's all right. Looks yeah. like he's kind of buzzing to me. Yeah, he's having a good time. We're just all having a good time here. You know, I'm not gonna let him have any more alcohol tonight. So, uh, do you want to talk to him or do you want me to talk to him? I can I can talk to him. Okay, you can give him a ride home too. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it, dude. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Thanks. not a problem, man. Do your best to get them to transportation other than driving as a way home. Remind them, in order to protect others, you have a duty to call the police if needed. Inform all staff which guest was cut off as they might try to get alcohol from a different staff member. Record the incident in a logbook. Because serving and selling alcohol has an increasing and acceptable place in society, those of us who serve and sell alcohol have more responsibility than ever to do our part in ensuring the safety of our guests. This concludes Module 7. Let's do a little recap. In this module, you learned how to observe, listen, evaluate, and react to a customer in order to determine if an alcohol sale is legal. You should now be familiar with how to recognize signs of intoxication, how to deal with an intoxicated person, and how to deny service to an intoxicated person. You may now take the Module 7 quiz.